second, there are the RPS Class II NATO. They are systems with less than 600 kilos, but with more than 150 kilos of weight. One of them is the Searcher, used by the Spanish Army. All the RPS require some common elements that, depending on the type of RPS in question, are more or less numerous. The most important elements are two. The first is the service and technical maintenance area of the RPS. Here all the services are developed that will allow the RPS to be operational 24 hours a day. And, secondly, there is the ground control system. This can consist of, from a simple tablet that transports the own soldier, to an underground control station, formed by dozens of people. The information obtained by the RPS, can then be treated by any other type of communications station, be it another RPS, a ground communications center, a helicopter or a military aircraft, or on a warship. Also, Class 2, we have the Shiva RPS, of Spanish design and used by the Spanish artillery. A more recent RPS and under joint development between Spain and other European countries is the ATALANTE. 
It is a Spanish design. MBDA Spain collaborates in its missile system. It is the first of the RPS of the Spanish Armed Forces with recognition and attack capacity. It incorporates a high-definition electro-optical retractable turret in its upper part. Apart from other systems, in its lower part, the RPS, during its flight, sweeps the surface to detect any possible target. Your flight can be automatic throughout the journey or be piloted remotely at certain times. Your radio signals, emitted through a data link, can be sent to your control station on the ground, to a satellite or to another RPS. Once an enemy target is located and identified, the attacking RPS indicates the target to attack it, or to be destroyed by another RPS. And under reconnaissance helicopter design, Spain uses the SKELDAR. But Spain already has its own design of this type of RPS. It's called Pelican. And it works, both in recognition mode, and in attack mode. We will explain, in the following sequences, how the RPS work. This is a section of the Recognition and Observation Group of the Spanish Army. He is in transit to his camp, and uses the RPS Pelican. This unit of Spanish recognition, begins to be attacked by enemies not located in the field. And as we can see, he is suffering some casualties. The control of the same, requests support of urgent aerial reconnaissance, to locate the enemy. To this TOA of the air reconnaissance group, the Zone Command, transmits the air reconnaissance order requested by the Spanish unit under attack. The air reconnaissance section looks for a safe zone of immediate deployment, for all its units. This command and control section will be responsible for supervising the requested reconnaissance flight. The two platoons of RPS Pelican, are prepared. The first platoon, will be ready as reinforcement, if necessary its use. Meanwhile, the second platoon is being conditioned for its immediate takeoff. All RPS must have a pilot, at least. Depending on the RPS in question, they can be equipped with different vision systems, night, infrared, thermal. The RPS, from class 2, have two pilots and an air operations chief. The RPS, can make all your flight in an automated way, or be controlled, in part, by your pilot. Once enemy targets on the ground have been identified by the RPS, the tactical chief decides to pass a notice of immediate air support to a squadron of Spanish Tiger attack helicopters. and the enemy is finally neutralized. But RPS Pelican, can also work together. Here we see an example of the Spanish Navy. A Pelican flies in the head tracking enemy targets. When it positively identifies and identifies the target, as hostile, then it retreats to a tactical second plane. In this position, it is responsible for marking the enemy objective, so that the second unit Pelican, proceed to the attack and destruction of the naval target. <laughs> 